What is going on, Sheep Army? This is your boy, Random Marks, coming with a quick video. And on this video, guys, we're going to be talking about how you could seriously, you know, no fluff, seriously be able to 10x to maybe even 100x your return on some of these new uh, Shibarium projects. So before I get to it, guys, make sure you smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Love to hear your thoughts and opinion about Shibarium. Guys, it looks like Saitoshi Kusama updated his profile on Twitter. Right now, it's just period. So hopefully that means that it is done and we could expect a, uh, a beta today. So before I get to it, guys, uh, taking a quick look at the price of bone bone is currently at a dollar and 82 cents and and again with the launch of shibarium guys it is going to give like huge opportunities to be able to make some serious money into it um so this video is really just going to be um part one i don't know how many parts i'm gonna make but i'm trying to keep it as short as possible so that way you guys can be able to get the details and the information that you need. So one thing about it and what you're seeing here is my best replication of what be going on in my mind as far as like what I see. So one, a couple of things that people don't understand when it comes to pricing within tokens is what goes on in the background. So there's this thing that's called an AMM, which is called, which stands for automated market maker. So that's simply whenever a dev or whoever's providing liquidity for whatever token that they're trying to, uh, you know, list or have it on um, whatever chain. So in this case, it would be Shibarium. They would have to pair the native token or typically that's what they're going to. They're going to pair the native token, which in this case is bone. And they're going to pair it with their token. So in this case, this is an example of what the dev or the liquidity provider, not you, but the dev or the liquidity provider are going to do in the background. They're going to have bone and XYZ token paired in an LP. So an LP, um, you know, could range as far as like how much is in it. So we're not going to get too deep into that, but depending on what swap that they put it in, they could put it on Shiba swap V2 or whatever new swap that does come within Shibarium ecosystem. So once they pair it typically, and for this, this is just going to be for example. So in this liquidity pool is going to start off with 10 bone as well as 10 X, Y, Z token. So boom, that's in the liquidity pool. So this makes the starting price of that token to be at a dollar and 80 cents. And the way that you calculate that dollar and 80 cents for the X, Y, Z token is 10 bones divided by 10 X, Y, Z token that equates to one bone price. So it's 10 divided by one that equals to one bone price. So remember the price of one, uh, bone currently right now is at a dollar and 80 cents. So hence would make XYZ tokens price at a dollar and 80 cents. So hopefully I didn't lose you guys so far. So if, you know, let's say random arts decide like, Hey, I want to go ahead and buy XYZ token and keep in mind this, uh, this is not going to be a strategy that's going to last. It's only right around the beginning uh, stages of Shibarium. So let's say Random Arts decided I wanted to buy XYZ token. So the cost of it is $1.80. So I, I use one of my bone to buy XY, uh, XYZ token. So one of my bone is going into the liquidity pool and it's going to spit back out XYZ token to my wallet. So my bones leaving my wallet, XYZ token is coming back. So this would change the dynamics of the liquidity pool to be 11 bone inside the liquidity pool and nine xyz token so as soon as that happened the price of xyz token will automatically upgrade so now you'll just do the uh you know this is what's done in the background so it's 11 bone divided by nine xyz token so the price uh you know so the 
it would be 1.22 um, bone price. So a 1.22, you would multiply that by the current price of bone. And now XYZ token would be around uh, $2.19. So immediately the price goes up. Now, something to keep in mind, you know, with this example is the liquidity that I did um, is extremely low. So the price skip is going to be dramatic. But so that's where you guys could still understand the concept. Now, let's say, you know, the price of bone shoots up to ten dollars. Like most people think it could at least get the ten dollars. You know, I've even seen numbers even a lot uh, higher in the five K range for you know, price for bone, but we're just going to keep everything conservative with this example. So the price of bone becomes $10. Um, and so what would that do to the price of XYZ token? So remember if it's one, let's say if nothing happened and this token just traded flat, you know, at one bone price, then the price of XYZ token would automatically just go up to $10. So, you know, by it simply not doing that and just trading flat line, just like this on the chart, the price of XYZ token goes to $10. So if XYZ token get a little bit of action, a little bit of pause, you know, price positivity, then the price of XYZ token now becomes $12 and about 20 cents now. Just off of minimal buys and just, you know, just doing the bare minimum. And from starting price, that's almost a 10 X. Well, that's actually, yeah, that's more than a 10 X. You just 10 X your money all due to the fact that bone is doing what we all think it's going to do. Now, if bone starts pumping, you know, $10 bone, then also XYZ token decide that, hey, people are going to FOMO in, you know, and this is just the dynamics of the liquidity pool just switch. Now, you know, you have uh, five uh, bone that's actually added into the liquidity pool. Um, and of course, XYZ token five is going to be taken out. So that leaves uh, four times bone price. So at $10, you're looking at a $40 XYZ token price, which would be like a 22X return from where it started from. And again, like I said, you got it. This have to be done early before the pump of bone. So that way you could see those serious um, price movements. So now even people who will say like, well, what if uh, none of that happened and people start selling XYZ token? So even if someone starts selling XYZ token, guys, and I just flipped the numbers as far as this being extremely bearish. So it will be four bone left in the this pretty much like the liquidity is almost drained at this point. So it's four bone left in the liquidity pool and 16. um and 16 XYZ uh, token is added into it. So this would make the, you know, the, the math becomes a quarter price or 0.25, the price of bone token. So if bone starts to pump, you know, gets to $10. Now, automatically it would drag the price of XYZ token, put an XYZ token at $2.50, it would still be higher from where it launched that. So this allows you, is this allow you to be able to have extreme, you know, reward with a low side of a uh, risk. Now, granted, you got to make sure that you're not buying into rugs. You know, that's the only thing that, you know, this this equation or this formula is not going to be able to save you from. If it's a rug, then, yeah, it, it, bone could have been at one hundred dollars and it, you know, typically wouldn't help. But this is, again, part one of uh, how to how you could really 
you know, 10 X to even a hundred X your return on Shibarium with new projects guys. So stay tuned for part two. Hopefully this makes sense guys. Hopefully I didn't lose you guys. If you have any questions, make sure you leave, you know, a comment down. I do my best to be able to try to answer any, uh, any questions that I see, but I thought I'd make this video for you guys just to be able to explain my thoughts and opinion and how I'm looking to approach uh shibarium launch with the new projects and you know like always guys make sure you subscribe um if you're new to the channel oh and one last thing too um this is just going to be a separate account or a separate wallet for me to be able to do this so i'm not using what i'm accumulating right now for a bone to be able to do this so but yeah thought i'd just give you guys my thoughts and opinion this is random arts guys signing off peace